Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. This is module 5 of first grade. Write your name here first. And we're filling in the blanks. So let's just see what we're, do, what we're doing for each one. Uh, we have clocks labeled A and B. And let me erase that. You don't have to circle those. Uh, this says here clock, which one, so which clock A or B shows half past three? Well, looking at this clock A, the hour hand is the short hand, and the memory key that really seems to help a lot is that the word hour is shorter than the word minute. This only helps if you know how to spell hour and minute, but now you do. You can see that uh, and, and it, minute actually sounds like a longer word than hour, so that helps too. Uh, so hour is shorter, so it's a shorter clock hand, and minute is a longer word, so it's the longer clock hand. You can see that this is half past, it's right at the six, but the hour hand is in between the four and the five, so that's half past four. This is three thir 30 minutes is half past an hour, because an hour is 60 minutes, 30 is half of that. So clock B shows half past three, which is the same as 3.30. All right, and now which clock shows half past 12? This one here has the minute hand going to the 12 and the hour hand. You could, you might be able to see if we like, we zoom in super close. You can see how there it looks like the hour hand is usually a little bit wider. So you can see like there's a little bit, it looks a little bit wider than the minute hand. You might notice those things. Not everybody can see that, especially at regular size. But when you see that the clock that looks like this, unless it's an exercise where you're supposed to draw in minute hands and there's one that you expect to be missing, for a clock where you don't expect hands to be missing, you just assume that that's 12 o'clock. So which one shows half past 12? Well, I just said that one's 12 o'clock, so clock B is half past 12. And you can tell, especially because the minute hand is down here, pointing at the six. And then here we have, we're looking for 11 o'clock. So our minute hand is gonna go straight up to the 12. Both of them have that. Uh, so we're looking at the one that shows 11 o'clock. That's the one where the hour hand points to the 11, that's A. And then now we're looking at a uh, clock that shows 8.30. Well, obviously it's not this one that says 9 o'clock. So it's this one here that has the minute hand down to the 6. And the hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9. So, so it's halfway past 8 on its way to 9. It's clock A. And then which clock shows 5 o'clock? So we want minute hand going straight up to the 12. Boom, there it is. This one doesn't have that. And plus, we can see that this the hour hand here is pointing right at the 5. Oops, that's clock B, not clock 5. <laughs> clock B. All right. And then it says write the time on the line under the clock. And you might not be able to see it because the line is really close to the bottom of the box. But there is a line that's down here at the bottom of the box. So this is hour hand pointing at the one and minute hand straight up so it's one it's o'clock so it's one o'clock this has the hour hand in between the 11 and the 12 and then the minute hands down here at the six so it's going to be that tells us 30 minutes because the minute hands down at the six and it's in between the 11 and the 12 so it's still 11 but it's not 12 yet so it's 11 30 or half past 11. And then this has a uh, hour hand. You can tell this hand here is the hour hand because it's shorter. It doesn't go all the way to the, to the number. So that is the hour is six. And since the minute hand goes straight up to the 12, it's six o'clock, zero, zero. And 7.30 is just 7.30. Or if you want to be fancy about it, you can write half past seven 
And here we have our hand. It's in between the five and the six. So that means it's five something. And the minute hand pointing down at the six tells us it's half past five o'clock. So that's 30 minutes, 530. And here we have our hand is a shorthand. Doesn't go all the way to the numbers. That's in between the two and the three. Looks like where it's pointing right about there. Uh, in between the two and the three means it's still two o'clock. And the minute hand here tells us it's 30 minutes after two o'clock. And here we have uh, our hand. That's the one that doesn't go all the way to the numbers. It's a shorter hand. Seven is pointing right at the seven. And this is kind of, this can be tricky later on. Just because the hour hand point looks like it's pointing right at a number doesn't mean it's necessarily seven because sometimes it's almost six and it looks like it's pointing right at the seven. But here we're looking, we see the hour hand is right up here pointing right at the 12. So it's, that's seven o'clock. In first grade, we're just telling time by the half hour, half past, uh, o'clock is this is 11 o'clock so we could just write 11 o'clock all right and now here we have our hand in between the nine and the ten so the hour is nine something and the minute hand goes right down to the six we can tell that's the minute hand it's 9 30 because 30 is half past 30 minutes is half of an hour put a check next to the clock that shows four o'clock well here we have an hour hand pointing at the four and the minute hand right up at the 12 so that's four o'clock this one here is in between the four and the five looks like it's pointing right about there and then the minute hand is down here at the six you can tell because it's almost touching the six that's the minute hand so that's like 4 30. this one here the hour hands pointing at three so that's three o'clock i'm not going to check that one uh because that's right up here that's three o'clock and then this says uh four double zero is four o'clock so i'm going to check both of those